Welcome to Tips and Tricks for I2 Analyst Notebook. My name is Tim with Total Intelligence Group, and today we are going to be talking about how to create links manually. Um, so as you can see on my screen, we're continuing with Al Capone as being our subject. We've also added an entity in here, um, his 1928 Cadillac 341A town sedan, which apparently had over 3,000 pounds of armor um, on this vehicle. So for back in that day, uh, it probably put a lot of stress on those axles of that car. So we want to make a link between the two, showing that Al Capone is the owner of this 1928 Cadillac. So we're going to come over here to our palette. Now, if you forgot where that's at, you go to the Home tab, okay, and you come over here to Insert Palette. You can kind of drag and drop your palette either to the right side or left side. Simply do a left click and hold. It releases it and you slide it over and you got to put your arrow right here on that little panel down there with a the drop down and you can move it over to the left side. Okay, so if you prefer it on the left side you can do that. If you want it back on the right side just do the same thing. Hover over, drag and drop. So I'm going to go down here to links and again if I click the drop down menu you're going to see all the pre-populated links that currently exist within i2. You can add your own link types in there and we'll do another video on that later. But today we're just going to go with vehicle and we want to put him as the owner. So if I just do a left click of owner, you're going to see the plus there. Now on the screen, not hovering over an entity, you just see that plus sign. Once I hover over an entity, you're going to see that a second plus is going to appear um, to the right, up in the you know, right hand corner of that first plus. That means you're now able to you know, drag your link to and from because you're over an entity. So if you do a left click and hold and drag it, and as you see, that plus goes away. But as soon as I get to the other entity, it pops up. That means I can drop it. So it creates that link that he is an owner of. Now you can go in and manipulate um, the link and the way it looks, and there's a few things that I'll show you. So if you come down here to style and you go to type, there are several things you can do here. The first is you can confirm the strength. So you can have confirmed, unconfirmed, or tentative. So if it's confirmed, you have paperwork for someone and it says they are the owner of this car, you can put confirmed. If it's tentative, um, you know, it might come from a source or, you know, you have a little bit more information behind it, you can set it as tentative. And if I'd set it as tentative, what you'll see is that link actually changed to a, if I zoom in, to a smaller dotted line. Double click it on again. And this time I can go to unconfirmed, and it's actually going to make those dashes a little bit bigger. So now that's unconfirmed. So you can not only change the strength of that to show that on your link diagram, you can also change the width. So let's say I want to make it a little bit bigger, make it a three, and you can change the color as well. So if I want to draw attention to it, you know, I can change it to red. I can put an arrow on there. I can say, you know, so I'm looking at the link diagram. Al Capone is the owner of. I could put an arrow there to show that, hey, he's the owner of this car. Otherwise, the link that you draw on there kind of already makes the assumption that the car is not the owner of Al Capone. Al Capone is the owner of the car. But you can put an arrow in there as well. So if I make those changes and I click OK, now you see I have a bigger red line on there. Okay, it's dash because it's bigger dashes because it's unconfirmed. Um, and I also have that he's the owner of that. That is how to manually create a link within i2. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. We'll get a little bit more in depth as we move forward. But so far we now we've manually created entities, we've added pictures, and now we manually added a link to our link diagram. Again, this is Tim with Total Intelligence Group. Thank you and have a great day.